All right, so Donner wanted to send me some more stuff. Uh, they sent me an electric guitar to review and play. And I know nothing about guitar, but uh, I'm gonna review it for you guys. And we're gonna see if it's worth it to get this guitar. Can you play guitar? Like, I am a musician, so it can't be that much different. It can't be that hard. Can I have scissors? I gave them to you. So, the cool thing about this is that Donner let me pick the color of the guitar. Oh, and they let me pick the model, but the color's more important. So They let you pick a guitar in general. They didn't, they, yeah. they didn't ask you. <laughs> they let me pick what I, I wanted a guitar. <laughs> oh, the tuner! I thought I didn't get the tuner because it didn't arrive in the mail, but the whole time it was attached here. Well, that's smart packing. <laughs> You're gonna have to speed up this video because it's taking me so long. Ow, I think I pulled my arm muscle. <laughs> Very good packing. Almost too good. <laughs> How much is this guitar? Free? No. <laughs> Wrenches. <laughs> it's a guitar strap. Yeah! Screen! Ah. Do they always wrap strings like that? I don't know. Great. So what's your first impression? It's beautiful. Okay. Oh, and it has the signature Donner on it. That's cool. It's like a Les Paul. It's like a Fender. <laughs> it's like a humbucker. That's where that goes, right? If you get a square, a square. <laughs> if you get a squire guitar, it doesn't say squire. It says Donner, it says Donner Seeker. Okay, so that's the model. This is a Donner Seeker. That's humbucker, right? That's a humbucker. What do you think of the uh, the nut? Wait, wait. What's a nut? I think it's a solid nut. There are six of them. There's six nuts. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're solid nuts. They yeah. turn. Yeah. That's how you tune them, right? Yeah. All right. What about the bridge? Um, solid bridge. Yeah. Solid tappan Z bridge. Tappan Z bridge. <laughs> This is a bridge. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's what you travel along to play, obviously. Come Great. on. What about the pick guard? The what? The pick guard? The pick guard? Yeah. <clears throat> That's what you made that up. Pick guard is not a real thing. I think this is a solid review so far. How does it feel? This feels good. <laughs> How's how's the action? Tight action. <laughs> you want to you try to tune it up? Yeah, I need okay. to. Okay. This is exciting. I'm actually really excited about this. Because <clears throat> I have my deluxe tuner pedal from Donner. It's a nice box. All right, ready? Did you just rip the screen off? Wait, it said... That's a... <laughs> wait, wait, no. Hold on. Wait, that's a pull thing. I know, I know. It's okay. Is this um, just a screen protector? No, that's the screen, but the screen protector ripped the screen off. Put it back on. We're doing a bed. I think it just... Pops right back on there. Oh my god. Thank you. And that, that now that's not going anywhere. So careful. <laughs> Make sure the volume's up on the guitar. What? There's volume? Ew, are you serious? You have to do this? <laughs> you have to make sure the volume's up on your instrument? <laughs> that's wild. Where is it ten or one? I mean how do you know? Which side there's no arrow.
What is the string? E. There we go. Cool. So the tuner works. Yeah. Like what is that metallic sound that's happening? Is this supposed to happen? The guitar is so weird, isn't it? Yeah. Like, like, like. <laughs> it's your first time tuning your guitar. Yeah. How's it, how how's the overall experience? It's great. It's a lot easier than. Forty-four than strings. Forty-four. <laughs> All right, let's can I play this baby? Oh, I didn't put the strap on. It's there right. Go, it's I don't, right there. I don't need it. I, maybe you should. I don't know how. No, I don't know how. No, 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 no. I don't. Is this easy for people to do? Like, do you, like, like for like for you? Is it easy to put a guitar strap on? Like this, I mean, this it, is easy. It's not Yeah, right? Like this? All right, repping the Donner Seeker. Okay. Let's do a, let's uh, what do, you do think? my clean tone. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Hey, I have a pick for you. The one that I don't want to pick. The, the one that I don't want to pick. I think it's solidly built. I think all I think the knobs have a nice action to them when you turn them. I think that the nuts are all in place. And I think they're sturdy nuts. I think the strings are nice strings. And you like the bridge too? I love the bridge. This is a nice bridge. Great. So let's let's install the tremolo bar. Wait, what? wait, really? No, you're lying. Yeah, it's that's an Allen wrench, isn't it? Big one? That's a wrench. That's a bar? That goes in the guitar. This, no, you're a liar. This goes in the guitar? Yeah. I guess it doesn't twist, it just goes in there. <gasps> so try it, go for it. Oh my God, are you kidding me? You could do this all the time and you don't do this all the time? <laughs> Not every guitar has that. I want pattern. one. I want one for my harp. Wait, did you unplug the guitar? No. Because it's not getting any sound. Why are we getting any sound? Oh, you turned the volume down. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was on max volume. Are you sure? What? Yeah, now we're good. Sorry. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. <laughs> you turned it down. So All right, so did Donna send us anything else? Um, yes, they actually sent us a multi-effects unit. Multi-effects pedal. Well, the harp doesn't have weird things called like nuts and stuff. The harp doesn't have like weird pick guards. <laughs> the harp doesn't have volume knobs that if they're <laughs> turned down, you might as well just have an on and off switch on your guitar. You know what I'm saying? Are you gonna ever keep your volume at seven? Why? Well, actually, yeah. Why? So sometimes if you roll back your volume, it affects the guitar like a fuzz differently or something like that. That's wild. Yeah. That gives you more control then. That's, yeah. uh, then why don't, I want one then on my harp. <laughs> you just change your mind. <laughs> yeah, maybe, it's a bit, I gotta try it. I gotta see what it does. <laughs> seen this before but you have three different effects types on one mm -hmm. on one like pot you know on yeah. one knob right so like but the thing is it's a multi-effects unit but you can't combine the flanger and the tremolo if there's amp modelers on this side right you have mm -hmm. gain volume tone on this end and then this end you have your multi-effects different kinds of reverb different kinds of delay and then different kinds of modulation tremolo flanger chorus yeah. right so this is like really good when you're new to effects and you're like, what are all these things? It's also more approachable because like it's shaped yeah. like a controller, like a game controller. So it's like a game, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And it's also kind of cool in like an interactive way. I mean, like, you know, it, it's a budget pedal, right? Yeah. 
Um, there's no question about that. There's something to, really interesting to be said about like interactivity. You could put a battery in this and not have to plug it in, and you can have your friend sit there and play it like a game. Yeah. And it, and it creates something that's like really interactive. That's true. You know, something that's like it's a control. I mean, it's a controller. Yeah. yeah. Right. It it it's it could create a really interesting social scenario. So uh, before we play this thing on harp. You know, oh, you don't like this? You don't like me playing this? <laughs> I think I should just do a whole guitar demo. Don't you? <laughs> I can I can learn how to do it.